Wicked Phoenix here from CLN, and today we're going to be doing a campaign debate for the senator. So basically, um, we have a campaign going on for who's going to be the next senator, and I managed to arrange uh, the people who are campaigning to become senator to have a debate here in the town hall. Right now we've got uh, gunshots going on outside because there's a huge disturbance and rallies going on about who should become the senator. It's a very big thing here on this island. CLN news, if we could, if we could, you know, like, sip on some coffee for a minute, maybe a martini until all these zombies are killed, I think it'd be bad for the news media to watch while they hear gunshots in the background. Agreed, agreed. We should uh, wait all for right. the shots to calm yeah. down. I'm drinking on a, um, a martini right now, so <laughs> if anybody sir. else wants Sorry. to grab a martini in the back room, go ahead while these, uh... Alrighty, officer. Infected people are right, I'm just letting sure. you know what I've got on me. Um, as my body, as a member of my client security team, I have yeah, a just can of pepper spray, uh, a um, taser, and commandos. a Glock 17. Right now, right. I currently have my uh, pepper spray out. I don't, I don't feel the need for a lethal option since you guys are here. But I'm just letting you know Close I have it. I have all, all those right. things. That's fine. Uh, just to make sure, is there anybody else here with a weapon on their person? I yeah. I currently have a yes. shotgun, but with no ammo. All right, as All long right. as you guys don't pull it out, we shouldn't have any problems. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I have a weapon, but I'm not I, pulling it out. I just have to say it. I just have to say it. Yeah. Um, Will there be more people here to spectate this a bit? I'm inside. Yeah, let's just give it about five or ten minutes so more people have the chance to get here. And also, um, before we start, somebody could maybe uh, oh. Wicked, if you can go down and make Sir, sure the less really gunshots, quickly. the better. You know what I mean? Exactly. Right. And then yeah, we'll shake like hands and uh, begin. Three one one about when this will start. Is somebody asked in the three one one earlier? I've had a lot of sex in that room. Be careful. Uh, we'll Walk. see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go and check on uh, the situation outside? I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and let them know the less gunshots, the better. The silences are expensive, though. So we're going to be doing this debate in the uh, courtroom? Yeah, I think there's more room instead of my office. My office is small. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there is a room next door with a table. But, uh, I think this is better for media outside. purposes. Oh, yeah. And if ever, yeah, yeah. God, the protesters outside are very angry. It's all cool outside, they're only clearing up the infected that's getting close. I thought they were protesters. Ten four. Can't seem to figure out how to walk. I'm gonna double check around here just to get a better view of what's going on. There's some to seems to be as a oh, guard post like tower up here all the way to the east just around the back of the like military kind of things white things stones okay so he seems busy that guy was flying okay it seems to have calmed down now I think we're all good, guys. Maybe not. I don't, but it is high. Sad. So, Senator, where would you be uh, seating for this debate? Uh, I figured, uh, I'm just saying, uh, for video coverage, I'm thinking maybe I could stand here where I am, and maybe he could stand right here where he is, or maybe we could sit down right there, I could sit down over here, and you could, like, maybe stand right here and film us. Yeah. But um, I'd really like to be standing, because so, I... Wait, you know, so I you'd prefer to have the audience in the shop? 
Yeah, the audience would be good, but I really like to be standing as I could get more off my chest and talk better when good I'm standing. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. All right, I'll infect it or clear it out. Just so you guys know, we're going to start. Uh, if you'd like to wait about five minutes, and then we can start whenever you guys want to after that. Can yeah, I get pleasure to meet you. PD out in the front door real quick. I take it, Bob. I take it you're his bodyguard, right? Um, seeing if seeing as though we're going to stand, how about uh you uh stand around here, just in front What's of. That? If we stand around here, just in front of the audience. What? What's that? If we just stand around here in front of the audience, and then uh, you can uh, be a bit more personal of the crowd. Oh, okay. Is this all the people we have coming? I think we got more people coming in. Uh, it'd be great if we did. Okay. But um, yeah, just I'm letting you know there. who I am, why I'm here. Uh huh. I'm not. I'm not particularly politically affiliated. As when it comes to my services, <clears throat> I'm just here, you know, just my protect your opinions don't matter. Right, you're just here to protect your, uh, the, the guy running the, 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 the delegate. Right. If you require security, right. we can, we can oh, help. Oh, he's not, no, he's a delegate, he's not a delegate, he's actually a, a, a candidate. Yeah, that's what I meant to say, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Wicked. I'm not good with politics. That's me. fine, that's fine. Either is Donald Trump, we all understand that, though. <laughs> this is a government building. I'll clean it up later. Don't worry That's about disgusting. It. I'll clean it up later. Is this all the spectators coming in? I, I think so. Uh, guys at the entrance, are you coming in for the debate or are you uh, staying outside? No, we're standing guard outside. Okay. Okay, guys, we're ready to start. No, I'm good. Well, pleasure meeting you. We ready to begin, guys? As soon as you start recording, I want to go ahead. I want to shake uh, my competition's hand. Uh, I've been recording for the past five minutes. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to go shake this hit guy's hand. Yeah. Good idea. Well, good luck. Uh, I hope uh, the media gets this debate out real nice. Yeah, good luck to yourself. Don't hey, don't let my age fool you. Okay, just to keep everyone informed, the debate is currently for the campaign for the next senator. So just so people are aware of what is happening right now, I'm going to be asking some specific topics on uh, situations concerning, and after I finish my topics, you are more than welcome to ask questions after. So what uh, after I uh, say a specific topic, I just want to give your um, policies on them, and you can debate between each other on uh, whether you agree or disagree on them. So okay, so we're going to start with uh, tax. So how will you handle tax in this island? I will start with you, Con, since you are the senator. Right now, um, I think taxes are being dealt out pretty good. Um, I'll explain. Uh, right now, the taxes are at the lowest they've ever been. Um, Jumping this lot is being arrested. Um, taxes are at the lowest they've ever been. They've been this low for a few weeks now. Um, I uh, went on vacation about a week ago, and I make sure taxes are low, and they can't be touched even by uh, even by my office. You know, um, I do raise taxes um, when I, I raise taxes on weapons. Make sure I have raised it to a hundred percent across the board before, the and I'll give you my explanation why I do it. You know, I've got uh, a lot of uh, drugs on. Uh, anyway, uh, I raise the taxes across the board on weapons when there's a high crime rate because I don't agree with uh, people doing crime in this uh, city. So when they do start doing crime, I raise the freaking taxes. And then uh, when they start abusing the um, the, totally uh, the fields, um, you know, where they supposed to grow like olives and stuff, I will raise the vehicle tax. Um, it all depends on the citizens. All right. He raised the vehicle tax while people are doing olives. It's not right. Um. So yeah. So, I uh I raise the taxes according to how the citizens are behaving. Okay, that is great. Um, so what are your policies on this uh, diffusion? Um, my policies on taxes. To be honest, I don't think they should be raised 
for um, personal gains, to be honest. And that's what it, it actually feels like since I've been on the island. I mean, to me, they're pretty high at the minute. Um, actually, they're at an all-time low. They can't go no lower. With 40% is the lowest? That, uh, on weapon and... On weapons, I understand. Uh, the fuel tax. Fuel tax, it's an lo all-time low also. Because 40% seems a bit high. It does. But, uh, like I said, that's the lowest they can go. But, um, I want to and personal gain. You mentioned something about personal gain. If I can comment on that, I'd like to comment on that. Uh, there's no personal gain. Taxes will... Um, so you're saying you're keep taxes low even if there's a high crime rate and there's no personal gain out of this because I actually own two car shops and a weapon shop when I raise taxes guess what happens no one buys anything so it's not a personal gain it's to teach people a lesson yeah but um, what I'm what I'm saying is um, if you keep the taxes low even for yeah on crime rate you put the tax, taxes up for like weapons yeah, when crime rate's high, I'll raise the taxes on weapons to 100%. That means they're paying more than double. I mean, the we the weapons are... I do, I do understand the weapons are pretty expensive at the minute. And I do understand about raising the, the taxes for weapons on, weapons only on uh, high crime rate. Oh, well. All right. All right. Um, Fusion, uh, Legion wants to know, will you go into Yellen? Yelling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Um, as long as they keep theirs to um, either tall or normal. Semester, don't shoot them yeah, no, so just make sure they keep to normal because we can hear them outside. Yeah, I can hear everything they're saying. Thank you. Okay, sorry about that, the uh, interruption. Um, so, we, is that okay with taxes? Is there anything else that needs to be said on taxes? I think he needs to comment. I think he still wants to comment on. Uh... He don't agree with me raising taxes when the high, when the crime rate's high. On, no, no, uh, I, I agree. I agree. Oh, them being high on uh, weapons when the crime rate's high, but not on fuel. Oh no, on vehicles I raise them, and that actually hurts me. So there's no personal gain. Just remember that you mentioned something about personal gain. Um, it actually hurts well, I, me. That brings me to something that you said earlier on. But you you raise taxes you raise the taxes on civs because you you was arrested. No, if you didn't read the uh, rest of the bulletin, it was because of the police officers. I got arrested for being raped by a medic. I mean, well, you weren't actually raped. I did not raise them though. I, it was a threat to the police. See, you, oh, yeah. when you're I, the senator, I've, well, you I've actually have video, an upper hand sometimes. Video, I've got that on video from the, uh, I, yeah. from the rape. Right. Well, see, like when you're the senator, you, you, you can throw your power around a little bit and make a few threats, you know what I mean? So if you actually win this uh, campaign, I mean, you'll have power to you. You can use it how you want it. Taxes didn't get raised. It was a threat. Yeah, but... Threatening to raise taxes, that's that's not something the Senator does. Well, that's what I do. Okay, so um, do you think that's it uh, for taxes, or do you want anyone yeah. else, anybody else to say? Or... Um, I'm, I'm good on the taxes, unless he has a couple, um, unless he has anything else to add. Okay. No, I'm good on taxes. Does anyone have anything to ask about taxes in the audience? Audience? Please ask. Uh, Why are the taxes so high? The, all right, I'm going to explain this one more time. The taxes are at an all-time low. Taxes cannot go lower than 14%. 14. Um, 40 and 40. Okay, They're you just 14, said 14 and 40. 40 and 40, right? <laughs> it slipped up there. Taxes cannot go no lower than that. I have, I mean, if I want to get on a computer system right now and push it lower than that, the computer will not let me. If there was not a senator right now, the taxes would be actually 40, 40, and 17. So they would actually be a little higher. So you're saying the petroleum tax cannot go any lower? 
than 40. No, they cannot. I have a I have a question related to taxes for both for both candidates. Okay. Um, so you know, people to the island that have um, have have you know a little bit newer don't have quite the money to spend. They go to buy a car, and because there's a high crime rate, the the vehicle prices are up. Correct? And they're not right now. Is, I I understand that, sir. I understand that. But let's 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 speak figuratively, when. The crime rates are high. You're hurting peop the, the the newcomers to the island because they, they they no longer can have the money to spend on these vehicles. Correct. Okay. All right. And no. what 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 is your plan to to combat this to I keep actually, people to I come in to that. the island? I have an answer for that, and I actually have witnesses. Well, let's see how many witnesses do I have. There's a couple new people to this island. I think Wicked's the only witness I have right now. Um, but to answer your question, when they knew people do come to the island, I had a bank account of $9 million at one time. I'm down to uh, a lot lower than that. When they do come to the island, and, and there has been predicaments where the crime rate was high and taxes were high, um, myself and my bodyguards specifically picked up these uh, immigrants from the airport, took them to Jeffrey Winters, took them to Torque, and bought them a vehicle. We bought them materials, and we told them how to get started on their happy life. We paid for it out of our own pocket. So that's my answer, and that's what I have done. I have spent millions on new people. Millions. Welcome to the club, so do we. And would like I, the, I have uh, also. Would, would the uh, opposition like to rebuttal? No. All right, that's that's all my questions, sir. Thank you. I would like to ask, Never. what do you think you accomplished by raising taxes to combat crime as a threat? A threat isn't what we need. All right. Yeah, well, we need what I have accomplished when threat. you go to the say when I raise taxes on uh, weapons, for example, let's use that as an example for your question. All right, there's a place at the mall where you can buy legal weapons. When I raise the taxes to 100% on weapons when crime rates high, a lot of people can still afford them, right? Because they're not that expensive for legal weapons. Legal weapons aren't that powerful. Now, say they want to go to the black market and spend, you know, a, a weapon that's usually 300000 or $500,000. When I raise taxes to 100%, now those weapons are well over a million dollars. That's what I'm accomplishing. The police have the upper hand when I do that. So may may I ask a question? Sure. Um, so you're saying about uh, high caliber weapons? Uh, you can in the mall. You can legally buy a 7.62 caliber weapon for fourteen thousand, and then you can go to black market and buy a sniper rifle scope up to ten thousand. And mm -hmm. in black market, the illegal weapons are for 300,000, the 5.5610 .5 which are actually All even low, lower caliber. Right, yeah, you yeah. And, and basically what this means... Have you been to the means, black market? I, yeah, I have been. I've <laughs> sold, yeah, I have sold so, the diamonds and the gold. Here's what, here's what you're going off ones. of, if you don't mind me interrupting. You're going off yeah. the caliber of the uh, ammo. Well, the caliber doesn't mean anything. It's the recoil it, of these weapons. I'm a marksman myself. I know all my weapons. It doesn't matter the, like you said, the mall. They sell 7.75 or 7.4, whatever it is. It, you're looking at what kind of gun is that coming out of compared to what kind of gun you're going to go get at the black market. You're going to get a gun at the black market that's not going to have any recoil. That's what I'm getting at. If you put somebody with a gun in the mall with a high caliber against somebody with a 5.56, at black market, that 5.56 is going to be way much more accurate. So, I I can argue I, with I, that. You can't argue with that. You said you yeah, can because no, uh, you can't. Uh, I can. At the range, the yeah, 7.62 is much more viable. Uh, uh, it has uh, <laughs> less uh, speed loss at longer ranges, and it, mm -hmm. you can shoot up to can one I just point ask two it, kilometer. Where, is there a police officer in here? And, and you're gonna reload how fast? Uh, I can show you. Of course, security I security code orange. Uh, like three seconds or four seconds reload. That's too long for the one at the mall. I can. I don't have to reload if I go to the black market. 
but, but you see, the gunfight usually doesn't last so long that you need to reload. At least from my experience. I, I kill a person before I empty the mag. What's going on? And especially with the CZ like one. A, Ten bullets. Walk out with their gun. It's lethal. Absolutely. There's a zombies out there. That's probably what's okay. going on. Combined it's with infected. the black market Disregard. scopes. The protesters. Like, I, I understand that uh, if the scope was 50k. Okay. The DMS one, for example. That can sc uh, scope in up to five times. But it's only 10k. Like. For 24,000, you can get a pretty nasty Hitman set. And uh, 24,000 is what? Yeah. Uh, but, um, two rounds. Uh, they're the looking at hard, uh, really serious times. Because uh, from what I have been told by the CLPD, that the black market weapons are illegal and any equipment that's there. Yes, but the punishment for carrying attachments is pretty low. Like, um, for, I, I think uh, the point uh, the senator is trying to get at is he's taxing illegal that's items, that's so they are less easy to uh, get hold of. Yeah, that's his uh, end point to this. I can I can stand, stand It's it's not really a debate of whether which one is better than a legal okay. one. I'm sorry, we just talk about taxation. If if you're trying to stop criminals with taxing stuff, they have plenty of money from what they do to get anything they want, so you're just hurting oh, yes. everybody else. Actually, um, you're talking about the uh, criminals? House things. I'm just saying, if, in my mind, if a criminal is doing illegal activities, they're going to have plenty of money to get what they need. You think? Yep. They're, they might have plenty of money what they what they need. But they're not going to be dumb and go spend a million dollars on a three hundred thousand dollar gun. Why some, wouldn't they when they can make a million? Be, I they know they take. wouldn't. I've lived here for two years. They won't. They're not going to throw away seven hundred thousand dollars when they can wait for their own crime rate to go down and then purchase it. I've been here for two years. I've been a senator for six months. I know how the system works. And it's working good. So I'm just going to end. Mr. Senator. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I, I thought you were done talking. I'm sorry. Continue. No, go ahead. Um, Mr. Senator, I know you say it makes a crime rate go down. What effect does that have on the actual arrests for these violent criminals? What do you mean? What, what effect does it have on his arrest? On the arrest rate of these violent criminals, I know you say it makes a crime rate go down, but does it actually give justice to anybody? The fact that well, they, that they're no longer committing the crimes doesn't really, you know, actually it does. Well, make up for the justice that it still has been lost to the victims of these violent criminals. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little uh, inside story on my bodyguards. Um, I have four of them. Um, what the cops can't do, my bodyguards will do and accomplish, and they have done. And when I'm talking about that is people uh, waking up and doing heroin, heroin and heroin and cocaine and weed, which screws the economy up so bad. Uh, part of, I can't control the item tax that screws it up beyond more than you can imagine. And I have a set of guys that go around searching the fields to, to make sure no one's doing um, drugs because a lot of people want to do drugs when police officers are asleep you know in my case they're pussies so I have my guys go out and take care of the situation myself you know um, are these so. are these commissioned police officers no they're not so you have essentially sir and I'm, I'm, forgive me for making assumptions here um, but essentially vigilantes running around doing these things for you it, to help you out, yes. Yes, to help your taxes out, to help the item tax and the economy. Yes, I do, because if I didn't, you would be struggling right now. That's what I do as senator. My life is more at risk than you can imagine. Okay, so is there any more questions on taxation? Not for me, no. Okay. So I guess our next topic of debate is immigration. Considering everyone is coming in uh, to prosper, no. to prosper from this island, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you guys uh, feel about this? And 
what do you think? Should it be built upon and improved, or...? Who do you want to go first? Uh, I'd like to go with you first, and... Okay, I'll go first. I always let the Senate go first. On immigrants, um, I welcome them all. Because the more people, the better the economy. I think we all can agree on that. Of course, we do need to keep a close eye on them when they first come in. Um, I'm pretty sure we do that. Um, yeah, I don't mind immigrants coming in. I The more the merrier, the better for the economy. Sometimes that brings in high, higher crime rates. That's all right. We already talked about crime, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't understand. Immigrants are welcome. And they do need an, an, an you know somebody to keep an eye on some more than more than others but i think there should be a little bit of control in there i can imagine it, it can put a strain on police you're talking yeah. about control oh. what are you talking about what do you mean by control um like uh, for instance you get a uh, like a massive influx of immigrants mm -hmm. um and just controlling you know how how much comes in at a time so it doesn't overpower the overall economy oh uh, well, no i actually disagree with that i i welcome i i want a massive flux of immigrants because it's great for the economy it's great for our um, I'm, I'm not saying it's not it's not great for the economy i'm just saying it's you know it it might be a, a bit overpowering on the economy and the um, we need CLPD. to get something that shuts this guy down. You know what uh, I mean? Um, well, they have their work cut out for huh? them. That's, they they go through a lot of training. I'm pretty sure they can handle it. Okay, is there uh, uh, any questions for this, or do you guys have anything else to say? I mean, we all do die off some at some time. I mean, we got to keep this island going. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, we've got to keep a balance in the economy. And... I have I have noticed um, like on the item tax it's been high today and it is slowly going back down. Yeah, that's because we pro I'm, I'm just giving a, a a rough opinion right now. I'm pretty sure we had some people wake up early early in the morning and do some drugs. Just taking a wild guess, and I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess we'll move on to another question. Um. So what about the laws of the city? Is there anything that you want changing? Or if you could, what would you change? And, I do. Oh, my God. And what would you do I, to improve this island in general? Oh, well, first of all, I got arrested today. For all of you that don't know, I got arrested for having a um, medic shove something up my ass. Now, it did feel good. Not gonna, not going to lie to you guys. It did feel good. I, you know, I did have a little yeah, orgasm I there. Um... I also got charged with uh, indecent exposure after that as I Shit. took a piss. Um, I'm, I should be able to take a piss anywhere I want. I mean, we don't have that many women, especially if there's no women around. There was no women around. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, let me contract that answer. There was a transvestite around, a couple of them. Uh, there is a couple transvestite police officers in this city. Um, not going to say any names. You know who you are when you see the news. Um, it might have hurt their feelings, but I still don't think I should have got arrested today. It kind of hurt my feelings. My butt felt good, though. I got a video of that. I bet you do. I bet you're going to have a fun time with it when you go home. <laughs> and, um, that, that video will be passed on to CLN. Okay, so um, as debating these laws, uh, what laws did you want to change? What what would you do to improve the city? Um, I think the um, the search and the refuse to um, if you can refuse to be searched and not detained. Explain yourself. Um, for instance, uh, somebody walked up to me today and asked me about um, because he he refused to be searched by uh, the CLPD. And he got detained in the pro because he refused to search. I'm not understanding what you're saying there. Maybe somebody else is understanding, but I'm not understanding where you're going with it. Um, um, saying, Mackie, Mackie we should be, we should be able to be, that, we yeah. should be able to refuse to be searched. Yeah. Um, and what not did, be what, detained. Okay, so what did this guy actually do 
to uh, be searched. I'd have to he say it depends on circumstances. He just says um, that, you know, what would my views be on, um, you know, being able to re refuse a search and not be detained? Alright, well, I, I have an answer for that. I agree with you to a certain extent. Um, they should be able to be searched, but... They, well, need I, to have, I, they need to have hard evidence they, before they start exactly. searching. Or hard, yeah, hard I evidence. Did, I and when, I'm not done. When, they're, when they find nothing, there should be a repercussion for the officer that searched him. There should be a penalty this officer has to go and deal with for searching this guy and just assuming. Because a lot of these officers um, are assuming when we shouldn't be assuming we need hard evidence can i can i uh explain my story if you don't mind senators yeah go and ahead, go ahead. we want to hear your story all right so what happened was me and my buddies we were um my my vehicle was having trouble and so they decided that they were in a, a helicopter at the time so that they would pick me up they are they cops they're not police officers no i didn't understand are they cops or they are your buddies they're, they're my friends. Okay. They, they helped me out. But anyways, they came in a helicopter and they picked me up. Well, mid-flight, um, they tried to drop me off in a town where there was a gas station where I could buy the appropriate stuff to repair my vehicle. And um, they, they at that point, they damaged the helicopter. Uh, it, it struck something. And they had to uh, make an emergency landing. It just so happened that uh, at the time, there was uh, the, the drug dealer was in that area. And the uh, counter narcotics cops came up and began to search us. And I asked, uh, "Why are we being searched?" And he said, "Merely because you're in the vicinity of the drug dealer." Um, when they had no evidence, we haven't even, you know, stopped you a clean the drug dealer. Yeah, I've I've never been arrested, officer. Um, never, you know. And when they searched me, I had nothing illegal on me. I, I they said, uh, "If you don't, if you refuse to be." Um, if you do not consent to be searched, you would be taken to the police station, um, this is, searched, this is and charged on. with um, failure to comply. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that um, whoever told you that is uh, probably in the wrong in my eyes. Um, so I would have let them, if it was me, let me, let me give you the example. If it was me, I would have let them take me to the police office. And I would have let them search me. And then when they came up with nothing, I would have taken it to court and sued their ass. And someone would have lost their fucking badge. That's just me. I uh, oh, I don't you, fuck you, around like that. You just said that uh, it was against the law for the cops to do shit like that. Now you're saying let them do it? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I said I they would... have the right to search, but there should be repercussions. If, if they're wrong, be repercussions yeah, yeah. if they're wrong. They know because, you know, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of criminals here. I mean, I'll be honest, I do a lot of criminal activity sure. myself. I, I don't take my medication all the time. You know, if if they have hard evidence, they should be have the right to search you. You know, sometimes they're bluffing, but by God, it's their ass if they're bluffing. But you got to be hard on your game and take them to court when but they're bluffing. You just got to be strong. Cops shouldn't be bluffing like that. Well, they know you're exactly right. They shouldn't, but they do. I dealt with it yesterday. I had uh, a cop lying to a higher, uh, one of his higher officers over me, lying right to his face. And um, there's going to be repercussions over that. So, you That's... know, there's, there's always no punching inside the car. And um, another finger. thing for both of you guys related to that is um, what's your opinion on. Um, on punishments for those who um, who may not always uh, comply with the police or cooperate, just because uh -huh. like situations like that. Now I have serious, you know, trust issues with the police because of that. So it's kind of hindered my opinion. What are the punishments for the police officers or the civilians that commit crimes? What are you asking? Well, well I'm saying, as in Mike, in that case, people now that don't want to comply with the police searches because of incidents like that or that now that, that they feel like they're forced to like they have no way out what what would you say to them what 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 would you tell them to do as as a senator and as a um 
I like you know. Well, uh, you, you should be you should be well within your rights to refuse a, a search if the cop if the officer does not have um, a valid reason, and you should not be not get detained for refusing that search. That oh, like, what, 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 what you have to what say he to said is right, of... but like I mean, what he said is correct. You shouldn't be detained, but you're gonna have cops that detain you. When they detain you, I done. I, I'll repeat myself one more time. And when they detain you and they have no evidence and they you had they had they come up with nothing illegal on you, there should be repercussions for the officer. He needs to take um, uh, a step down. He needs to not. He needs to be punished, just kind of like we are punished. Why, why we serve time in jail? Now I know they're not going to serve time in jail. I understand that. But there's going to be a penalty that I want to enforce. When shit like that happens, when they try to overpower you and scare you, kind of like, you know, scaring you into signing a guilty plea when you're charged. You know, that happens to all of us. Well, when that happens and they come up with nothing and their um, reasoning is bogus and they find nothing on you, my suggestion is for two days, 24 hours, they should do be able to do nothing but stand at the gate at PD and open and close it and do police work. They shouldn't be allowed to patrol at all. So what I'd you're saying is like a, a, um, a fine for the officer as well. I heard two of you was talking at the same time. Uh, I said almost a, a suspension of sorts. So, what would you say to that? Yeah, suspension or um, a reduction in duties and the fine for the officers that, you know, abuse the position. Did you say jail time? No. A fine. You, a fine? No, I don't think a fine is good enough. I really don't. No, I really don't think them yeah, paying a long, fine and being able to patrol no, is good enough. No, I think no, them I'm, standing I'm at about... the gate. And opening yeah, the gate for I, other police I agree, officers. I agree with you great. on that, but um, I, if I, I can I put, agree with like a, a fine on top of that. If I can put my two cents in, I think it should be taken to a court case and maybe for a possible demotion if the cop is found guilty. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Well, thank you, gents. I have no further questions. Okay. So, has anyone got any questions regarding laws? No. Okay, so um I guess the next one should be um uh what is your main campaign if you are to become senator? What is the big change you want to uh, put on this island? I think he's talking to you because I'm already senator. To be honest, I think it's uh, in my position. One well, more um, sorry, that was an accident. I'll be more transparent. Okay, so he chooses to be more transparent. Uh more on. transparent and more open. Um, yeah, sorry, hit, uh, a lot friendlier. Sorry. Okay. Friendlier? You don't even know me. How do you know I'm not so. friendly? I just told you I spent $4 million on I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying you're not friendly. Well, how, how do you know you're going to be more friendly than me? I spent $4 million on new immigrants. I'm not, I'm not saying you didn't do that. And right. where did you get this $4 million? Uh, who's asking? Where did you get this $4 million? Oh, well, I have way more than $4 million. And where do you get all this money from? Um, didn't your parents tell you it wasn't nice to ask them how much money they made and um, how much money they have? Did, was you raised like that or no? I mean, it just sounds kind of... kind of fishy and, you know, tell us... Fishy? Why is it fishy? What, 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 what's well, your name? What's, what's your name? What's your source of income? What's your name? Tell me that. What's your name? Uh, I don't have to disclose that. Well, then I don't. I'm not disclosing where how much money and where I got it from. If I can't get a name with somebody wearing a mask in a debate. Well, I have this mask on for a reason. Sir, you know? I, think, well, I think what's asked is just for some some transparency. Uh, well, transparency. Uh, transparency is a guy okay, asking okay. me with a mask wait, 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 and not wait, giving me his wait. name. You call that transparency? Dead. Okay, you guys, Would relax. You okay, we're all that out there. With in fact, you know what? I'm not answering info. any questions no more no? from a guy that's not revealing his name and wearing a mask. I'm wearing this mask because I'm a bodyguard. So yeah. Well, like I said, I repeat myself one more, one more time and one last time. I will not answer one more fucking question from a guy that won't reveal his name and who's wearing a mask. All my bodyguards will tell you their names.
Okay. I'm the, I'm the one exception of the bodyguard, but everyone else does, so yeah. I'm just... In my exception. opinion, you can fuck off. Go on with the debate. <laughs> you're the okay, salty, bro. So your, your straight up? Was... No, I'm not salty. I'm straight up. The PJ salt, bro. Okay, his question was, where did you get... Where do you, where do you get your earnings? His question is obsolete. He's wearing a fucking mask. I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm asking it. He's a fucking pussy. He takes his mask off. I'll answer his question. That's not your question. That's his fucking question. I'm speaking on his behalf. I'm You're a pussy, wrong. but you won't answer the question. Okay. Okay. Next. Next. Uh, dead. Actually, someone else asked Dead the question because I don't want to be that guy. You're already that guy, Mr. Mask Man. I think it's the opposite way around. I'll tell you where I got my money from. And. Yeah, even though I haven't got much, but I'll, t I'll tell you where I got it from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll give you one answer to all the people that are sitting here. I've lived on this island for two years. I've There, there's my fucking answer. Well, I've been here since City Life, too. I'm not sure what, you, what you're talking about, but all right. City Life, too? I, mm, we're on TV we don't know here. what you're talking right. about. We're on TV here. You just said you're here two years. I'm here since City Life too. So uh, what's uh, that? you mean you mean you, I, I think he's trying to say he was here since Chinaris. He's oh, lived uh, in Chinaris since we moved from Chinaris. Yes. Yeah. yeah well, he must have taken a long break. Anyway, I won't answer no questions that anybody can't tell me their own fucking name. You can see mine. Okay, right, so um. I know who you are. Is there anyone got it? Okay. Room is, except for the guy in the mask that won't even tell me his name. Okay, we're gonna move on this now. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? I'm Jimmy. Crew? Me. Hello. Jimmy, that's uh, Jimmy, the, jib the Jimmy no, Jibble Jobber. Okay, I know who he is. we're gonna we're gonna move on, guys. Isn't he? He's uh, one of the Legion officers or uh, crew. I'm no. talking to the guy in the black suit and the yellow shirt and the black tie. Oh, 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 oh all right. Okay. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna move on now, right? So um, before I do my next topic, um, I'm going to ask, does anyone have any questions regarding anything? Remember, these two guys in front of you are going to be running for the Senator campaign. And your vote is what matters. So ask them whatever you want that uh, yeah, feels needs answered. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, I would like to say one other thing um, to who it matters. I make a lot of money. I'm talking millions. Um, I do actually have more than just a senator job. I am a therapist. I'm pretty sure some of you know that. So, uh, make a lot of money doing that. Uh, also, yeah, just a note, uh, he does have legal representation for people who do get arrested as well. Alright. I have one question for both candidates. Um, okay. If you, have you ever been arrested, and if so, um, how, oh, how often oh, is I've been arrested is? a lot. By the it, way, I didn't mean to do this, I was trying to open the door. Oh, oh, officer, officer. Officer, remember what happened to me earlier? <clears throat> Use me, wicked. Yeah, try me. Sir, can you... Use me. No. This wasn't on purpose, so... Uh, yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. trying to leave, and so I didn't do pull it. my dick out on purpose. And the man cough. What? Um... Senator, if you could, uh, can't arrest you me could for elaborate, a are these major charges or uh, relatively minor, if you don't mind? Uh, both. Sorry about that. Both. Right. I've been, uh, I have minor charges and I've had major charges. Alright. And, uh, dead? Yeah, I've had Canada one dead? major charge. It was pretty much out stupidity, and I do admit that. Mine wasn't stupidity. I meant to do mine. I was guilty, and when I... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That, that stuff hit too hard. Oh, my God. What kind of drugs are you doing? So, please have a seat. Please sit back down. Thank you. <laughs> Good. All right. All right. We just, uh, only, we just got... Only in city life is uh, people doing drugs in the courtroom. <laughs> Wait, what? Am I doing drugs in here? All right. <laughs> All right. So, is there any questions for these people who are about to be running for senator? Oh, I'm not running for senator. I am the senator. Well, you're trying to defend your, not trying to remain senator. I, I don't think I got to defend it that hard. I, I, 
do want to tell you, um, Mr. Defusion, um, I have a strong, strong backing from the people of Altus. Um, when, like this guy just asked me if I've ever been arrested. When I get arrested, I'm not sure if you've ever seen that, but do you know what happens when I get arrested? No matter if I'm guilty or not guilty, pretty much the whole island will stop what they're doing, go grab protest signs, and protest for me to be released. We do actually have news stories covering that. I yeah, have I'll a strong backing story. here, just to let you know, so you're going to have to make this, I mean, um, so basically, you're going to you're gonna have to win some of these debates really significantly to beat me in my eyes. Okay, so basically, I don't mean to fucking break the floor here, so basically you're saying that if Senator Fusion, or uh, future Senator Fusion goes for, gets voted in, you're going to cause riots? Did I, did I, did anything like that come out of my mouth? Uh, I've seen something similar. No, did anything come out? Did, 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 did I say I was going to cause riots myself? Now, Not yourself, but your backing, which my you backing, referred which your backing every, was. Which is almost whole island. every, which is mostly everybody on this island, except for all these uh, newcomers here. I'm not, I, I'm not telling them what to do, but I'm not, I can't control them. You must have done a lot for them, bro. I mean, they love me. They love me when I raise taxes to 100%. Really? They oh, they're me. all chicones then. They love me. Okay, so is that it for questions? Love. Uh, love what's your opinion bro. on uh, a Legion for both? Legion. What? What do you like? What do you mean? What's my opinion? Well, what's your opinion? I mean, I've heard mixed reports about Legion lately. Uh, we had an incident at the airport earlier today. I don't know if you're aware. Are you Bob? Me, you know. Yes, I am. Well, you. I mean, you're asking me a question just because you had an incident with him. I mean, be more specific. Well, What's my opinion on them? Be be uh, specific. Well, what's your opinion on their... Here's, here's a better question. What's your opinion on their current rules of engagement? Current rules of engagement? If I, I'll tell you what. If I had a gun pointed at my face, um, I'd blow their fucking head off. That's my rules of engagement. From what I've heard, and um, like I said... I might not be there, but I hear what goes on because I am the senator. Um, I heard that you had a gun pointed to one of their fucking faces. Is that true? That is true. Well, well then they um, that they, I would that blow your fucking. Man. I would put a bullet right in your forehead. So that, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm not being. I'm not saying I dislike you. I don't dislike anyone in this room. But if anybody puts a uh, a gun to my face, they're going to have repercussions and to Senator, pay. If it's not me... myself, it's going to be somebody else that's put a bullet in their forehead. I think there should be some sort of rules of engagement there. But... Rules of engagement? Uh, rules of engagement? Um, yeah, rules of rules engagement? Of engagement. If I have a, yeah, bullet, if if I have a gun to my work. face, all rules of engagement... You just just horned in here, bro? You don't, you you don't, don't, you don't feel first to ask questions like that. What? Here, you don't uh, you don't ask questions okay, when leave, there's leave a, a gun on your face. Okay, okay. Not, not, not unless it's um unless what? A gun on my face, there's no question to ask. Right they're dead. <laughs> you ask it you ask, you ask <laughs> to identify yourself. Cool, I'm not asking any questions I don't, I don't if there's a gun on my face. Alright? I've been here for two years. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. There's a gun on my face, I'm not asking no questions. With all due respect, look. I'm very sorry, but can we take a breather here? We don't want anything getting hostile or anything like that. We're not getting hostile. This is a good debate, I know. Man. I'm just hey, saying. I'm not saying hey. you are. Okay. The, yeah. The, we'll no, we'll, we'll no. take we'll the take. Can get heated. This is a heated debate. This is good. Yeah, but we could take a few minutes and stuff because I need to sort of fix myself and. Yeah, you're bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll, here, I'll, I'll fix you. Bend over. <laughs> there aren't any EMTs on. If someone can <laughs> fix me up, that'd be appreciated. I've, I, I I attempted to fix myself up, but I'm too busy holding the camera. I'll fix you. I'm fixing you now, bro. You got a nice package there. And for the record, Senator, it's off the your record, ass, bro. Um, Fuck. Uh, I had no idea that they were Legion. I had no idea that there was anything okay. going on at the airport. Right. I, I just I understood I that just too. got I into the airport. I was on vacation. I, I I heard that side, and it's unfortunate you didn't know who they were. But no matter who it is, you know you. They are legion, and if a gun's pointed to their face, they're going to react. If it's me, I'm going to react. If it's somebody that just came to the island, they might not react that way. Okay, if so it's... what? Uh, let's talk about something else. Since we're talking about guns, let's talk about gun laws. How, what do you feel about the uh, gun laws here on this island? 
I have a side view come. Oh, you started with me every time, if I may ask. Why don't you start with Yo. him this time? Oh, for, yeah, it's fine. Gun laws, I reckon, fair. I mean, I don't understand why you can get a illegal sniper rifle. I'm AFK for a minute, I need to go and have a wank. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you think, um, yeah, I understand why assault rifles are illegal, but I can't understand why a sniper rifle is, a sniper rifle is legal. Oh, I have a Republican right, running against me. I mean, yeah, sidearms, handguns, yeah, they're no, fine. Straight up Republican. But okay. Not, not, sni not sniper rifles. I'm talking more about, like, open carry. Do you think it's, we should no. be able to openly carry weapons? No. What about not uh, in civilian? Not in uh, like uh, town areas and stuff, and at the terminal. Okay. What about you, Con? What are you asking? Uh, what do you feel about open carry laws? Do you feel like uh, there should be more uh, freedom to carry weapons, or do you think we should be more restrictions carrying no, weapons? No. Um, um. Here, here's here's my answer. Um, I have one bodyguard. And he open carries um, all the time. And I think we all, not we all, but I think a few of us know who he is. Um, he's, uh, I mainly have Democrats as bodyguards. I may, I am a Democrat. But when I do have one Republican, I really love to death. And he open carries all the time. And the bad thing about, well, that's a good thing. If you, it, it, what he really okay, hates is when somebody asks him why he's carrying a weapon. Oh, it's just not good. Um, but, um, I don't know. Um, and I think you should be able to open carry uh, anywhere except the airport. Even in town, in uh, civilian towns, it is. The civilian towns? Yeah, like Kavala. Oh, I, I don't go down there much. My eyes really oh, get fucked up when I go down there. I don't think many people go down there. I think uh, I think it's uh, there's some chemical in the air down there where your eyes really get fucked up. But if they want to open carry in Kavala, let them open carry. It's like a ghost town to me. Okay. So um, let's start talking about uh, the public services here on this island. Uh, since the police is a hot topic, why don't we start about that? How do you feel about the police? Do you think anything needs changing about the police? Uh, either restrictions or improvement to the police, anything you want to discuss, uh, feel free to do it now. Um, we will start with you, sir. To be honest, I think the police really need to look at the corruption on some officers in there. Is that all you got to say? Because I got a shitload to say. I'm going to let you unload first. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to unload, because to be honest, I think the police are f some of the police are fair. Alright. Uh, so is that... I'm not, I'm not going to say all the police, because I don't know all the police. Okay. So is that all you have to say on this subject? Yeah. Okay, uh, so we'll go to you, Senator Khan. Alright, so I'll repeat the question and now I'll answer it. Okay, so what so is your views? Can understand what what, what is your to... views on the police uh, in regards to everything that they do? Uh, do you believe they need to be uh, restricted in some ways, or do you think they need improvement in some areas? I don't think we're doing very well here. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit on that. Um, I need I've a kind bit of help. I kind of hit on this earlier. Um, there should be repercussions for some police. There's uh, there's a lot of straight shooters here. Uh, at the police force, there are some crooked motherfuckers that tend to tell um, long, bone out bullshit stories about what happened to them. <coughs> um, they need to uh, be demoted and dealt with and held at the gate and opened the gate for when the police need to enter. They need to be a bitch for about three or four days to let them know where they stand, to let them know that they're not a fucking RoboCop. Um, you know who I'm talking about when you see this news feed. <laughs> so does anyone got questions regarding the police? 
Like, do you feel like there's anything that needs changing? Uh, no, nobody. No. Well, me personally, I... we got a police officer in here, guys. Don't mean you can't ask questions. Come on. I All said, right. what do you think? What do you think? What is your opinion on the current budget for the police force? Budget? What do you mean? What they get paid? Well, just the money that goes to the police resources, what what the officers are paid. I think they get a very good wage, from what I've heard. They get overpaid, especially some of them, the dirty ones. They get overpaid. Plus, they get a funding for every person they find and a bunch of stuff like and, that. Um, the black market weapons we uh, tapped on earlier. Do you know what? When I said 300000 500000 a million dollars, do you know those million dollar scopes that we all know about? You do, you do know they're chump change to the police, right? I'm just going to point you out know, they get huge incentives too. Taxes, sometimes when I raise taxes or threaten to raise taxes, and I think this was hit on earlier, it's not because I dislike civilians. It's because the police are doing bad work. I raise the taxes, but it really doesn't hurt them. And I think we need to come up with a plan to where it, hurt, it needs to hurt the cops. Because this is why everyone backs me at this island. Because sometimes there's dirty police work. Not all the time, sometimes. And they should be punished. Well, and if they don't punish be, their own, I should be able to punish them out of their pockets. Um, I personally, I know that uh, the cops actually make a killing off uh, catching drug dealers. Uh, obviously, if they catch them at the scene, planting the drugs, they collect all the drugs from either their truck or on the person. They get a killing of money coming into their accounts just for catching them. Mm -hmm. So, in, in, terms of, in terms of funding, they get plenty of yep, it. That, that right. should go back into the, the right. economy. So. It should, it should. You're right. And I, I had a smart ass in here earlier ask a question if I had vigilantes Good. going out taking care of these guys. And I my answer was straight up, yes, I do. Because my vigilantes give back to the fucking community. I myself gave four million. My bodyguards have gave more. So the pro proceeds of drug. So is that reasons for why you have vigilantes going to the plantations and just prevent cops from making a killing off the... Uh, there's it, it, there's not one reason. There's plenty of reasons implemented in there. It all circles. It all works out. It's better my guys do it than the cops. So you can make a killing, right? How do I make a killing? Answer that. How do I make a killing? Please answer me. I just told you I spent millions on immigrants. Tell me how I make a killing. I spend money going and busting these guys. I spend my paycheck that I get for being a senator on busting these guys. You gotta spend it to make it. I, I want you to answer that question. How do I make it? I think if what he means is... I think what he means is you basically get profit from the drugs that you've got from the people that you stopped at the plantations. No, I, we don't take their drugs. No, we destroy them. Yeah. We destroy their profit because it fucks the economy up. We don't have time to sit there and... We, we don't put our fucking livelihood at risk. We're not going to do tens of 20 years in prison because of drugs. We're going to destroy that shit. There ain't no profit to us. Senator, may I say something? I was not trying to degrade your bodyguards um, um, from what from they're, they're doing, doing by calling, by calling them vigilantes. vigilantes. I was merely trying to use um, um, the term 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 term. Term. Oh, no, trust me. They would love that word, That's vigilante. <laughs> Don't worry, they're not going to come I after don't you. Think it always There's is. only one guy in here that <clears throat> they're going to be speaking to. Um, I think that, yeah, yeah, what there the he is. Fuck is that? Hey. <laughs> you believe I wrote by the first wrong button. So Black suit, yellow tie. I think he needs a therapy session. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no, no, you you back there, you're yeah, sure. Sorry, sorry. Any more questions? Uh, a good debate. I think I'm blowing this out of the fucking water. Yes. Yeah, any questions? Um, what's your uh, What's your opinion on the uh, on I don't know. Tell me Tell me what you would do uh, to improve our city's infrastructure. Infrastructure? You're talking about buildings and roads? Of course, sir. Um, as a Democrat, hell, that's my number one priority. We need to give the workers a job. Building the infrastructure, I mean, fixing the roads, fixing the bridges. 
There is actually a and certain road in Kavala where there's uh, a, a bit of a problem. Yeah? Where is that at? Yeah, the, there was a van uh, oh. stuck there yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's that, that van. Um, that's a, that van brings not, back not, not, bad memories. Not that van. Not that van. <laughs> not that van. van. Oh, okay. It was a completely different van and nowhere near where that van was. Um, and by uh, Senator, uh, what what exactly do you do um, by improving the infrastructure, planning on building new buildings, uh, restoring new you know old old structures? My plan. Uh, what's your plan to make it better in the future? My plan, and I'm not sure if every one of you know this, but my plan is to take every one of you guys and everyone that's asleep right now, every civilian that's uh, that has legal rights here to this island, my plan is to take them to a new and wonderful set of islands. It's a beautiful place. Um, do, you have, do, you, do you have a name for these islands, sir? Yes, there is a name. And your homes, that's going to be your new home because this place is going to be um, left in a ravage. And uh, do, you, do you feel like this uh, this newer island has better infrastructure? Oh, by far, by far. It's more beautiful. It's a place you can take your your wife or your boyfriend out on a nice island, on a beach, have a nice drink, um, have a have, have a nice conversation. Um, you can cuddle. Um, it's just going to be a, a very nice place where the birds are always singing. More trees. More trees. It's going to be that. heavily wooded. Yes, more heavily greenery. wooded. Yeah. Or more, you know, if you ever want to have sex with your boyfriend or girlfriend, however which way you row, um, a lot of us here like men because that's all it's here, unfortunately. <laughs> um, candidate. What, what's your opinion on what you what you would do as senator to improve our infrastructure? Well, the new island um, looks and it is pretty great. It does have a more thriving uh, infrastructure going on. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely more civilized. Yeah, this is this island's. If you don't mind me saying, is a bit barren. Uh, I would say barren. barren. Yeah, Baron. Okay, so does anyone have any questions regarding any sort of topic before you move on to the last uh, subject? Um, for for either of you, do either of you have any major rebuttals for any of you that the uh, other candidates have said tonight? Like anything that you completely wholeheartedly remember? I'm not a candidate. I'm the senator. There's only I'm one sorry, candidate senator, here. But you you understand what I'm trying to say? Right? I understand. <laughs> Okay, so um, I was going to ask about uh, EOT services. How would you feel about them? Should they be improved, or um, what would you do EMT, to improve them? EMT is uh, doing a great job at the minute, from what I've seen. Okay. Um, I mean, they have got some heavy restrictions on. So, would you say you would like to argue get these restrictions removed? Not all the restrictions. Just some. Okay, uh, set it, Con. Uh, how do you feel about EMT? Now they're, they're, most of them are doing a great job. Um, there's, a, there's a few that could do the, I mean, more training, and we're talking about restrictions. I think they should be able to, I, they're not able to carry guns. I mean, I think they should be able to carry guns. Yeah, um, they should be able to protect Our gods themselves. do not let them. Um, the police officer, and, and I, I feel they're abused by some police officers sometimes. Um, one of them was trying to have, you know, just, you know, a, a, a normal sex session with me today, and we both got arrested, which was quite unfair. Um, it was in public, though. What? It was in public. Oh, tell me you didn't get a half a Woody from watching that. No. You liar. You liar. <laughs> now, you're running for senator. You've got to tell the truth. You know you're going to... You told me three times... How you did agree you'd be transparent. You did tell us three times you had a video. Yeah. Now, if you I, told I, us three video, times I, you had a video, my instinct incident, is you're yes, going to go yeah. home and jerk off to that. Am I right? After the incident yesterday, incident yesterday I, yes. I am videoing 
Ev- everything. I, I GoPro and you know one incident. I don't understand. So I just heard you. I just heard you hit on that subject about that the guy that medic with the sex toy putting it in my butt yep. today. I, heard I believe it was called the Jaws of Life. I'm not really sure it was a sex toy. It, oh, it was a sex toy. For Anything me. can classify as a sex toy. Uh, Mister yeah. Mister Senator. Felt the jaws of life. You know what? Um, Even a grapefruit can classify as a sex toy. See, what you do <laughs> is you take a grapefruit and you you make it you make it. Why are you laughing so hard? Let me finish. All right. So you take a grapefruit, the grapefruit method. And you, okay, I think we're going off topic you, here. You warm it up and then you cut the hole out in the middle. And oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, your your. <laughs> Okay, we're um, gonna we're gonna we're gonna move on. Okay, okay. So um, I'm guessing I think we covered everything. Is there any final questions before I ask these uh, well, senator and candidate for the final arguments? What are what are your opinions on uh, gay gay marriage? Let them do it. It's their it's their decision. And senator, your your opinion? I love men. God, oh my. Mm. Love Senator, uh, would you like to be here on this later? I've got to, I need to show you something. Mm. Is that you, your bodyguards can join in too if you want. Oh, my bodyguards. <laughs> they're not only my bodyguards, they're my sex slaves. Well, there you go. The more the merrier. Amen. All right. All right. So... I think we're even going to take a little therapy session for Mr. Black and Yellow back there. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm not the one who needs therapy. Oh, you uh, see, that's the no. See, that is First the step hardest is step. Exactly. Thank you. First step is denial. I'm not the one saying all the fucked up shit you are. Saying. You think it's fucked up shit until you complete therapy. All right, go ahead, continue. Sorry. Okay, so uh, final arguments. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna ask, um, what you got to say, why you should remain senator, and. The points for why you should remain. Oh, and for you, it's why you should become the new senator and what you would do to uh, make changes. So, um, who should we start with? Oh, you should start with the guy challenging me. Okay. So, um, yeah, do your final arguments, please. So I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Try, I'm going to try and take senator as um, open and honest as I can. And I'll work with CLPD. I'll try and work alongside CLPD to make, make things a lot better. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Um, is that all you got to say? It is for now, yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, Con, your uh, arguments, final arguments, please. My final arguments on why I should stay senator. Well. I think we hit on every topic earlier. I uh, not only give back to the community when taxes are high, I give millions upon millions out of my own pocket. My bodyguards give millions upon millions. My bodyguards make sure the item taxes stay low as possible. My bodyguards do more work than you guys will do your whole life. My bodyguards mean a lot. I think this guy returning for senator needs medication because he keeps talking to himself. But anyway. As I was saying, um, I should remain senator just because um, taxes have been at an all-time low for um, months upon months. There's a few times the crime rate was high that I raised them, and they needed to be raised. And it's not for self-funding. I don't get uh, self-gain out of this. I actually hurt myself when I raise taxes, um, meaning people don't buy shit. Um I'm here for the people. Um, people actually ask me to raise taxes to 100%. The regular civilians that actually want me to raise taxes just because they feel crime rates high. And, you know, I sometimes I don't. Um, it's Question a hard job. Over, you know that, we, we, that we fusion. It's, the next one. it's a very hard and deadly job. Do you know how much your life is at risk when you're a senator? Your life is at risk every day from the time you wake up because actually for right, the last so seven years, is, uh, 
the for the last seven years, anytime there was a senator, their life was taken within follow, weeks. Uh, I think I've been the longest uh, lasting the senator all that's ever been on this island. Why is there people talking over me? Go quiet during yeah, the debate, sorry. please. Was um, anyway, um, any senator in the past has been killed off within weeks, days. They haven't even made it a month. I have been, I think, the greatest senator that yeah, this right. island has ever seen. So um, it's going to be, I think, uh, you're going to, when we have more debates, I think you're going to have to come at me a lot harder than you did today. Um, yeah, it's police. Why are we worried about police? Let's put that for this. Okay. Anyway, I think I'll finish with that. Um, All right, guys. Um, shall we uh, just say it there? Okay. Is there any final questions? Yeah. Copy. I have one question. Um, okay. How fast are you going to implement the police punishment after this debate? Well, you're talking to me. Yep. I I'll talk to um, the higher ups in the police force, and I'll talk to the gods. You know, I know it's. Some people think it's, you know, hard to talk telepathically to the gods, but I have a communication set. Um, it really ain't up to the gods. It's up to uh, the head man in the um, police force. And I think that could be uh, worked out pretty good when, like we talked yeah, about earlier, about, the, uh, 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 about them holding you and taking you in for questioning when they have nothing on you. And then being uh, punished for it, I think we can work something out. I think I, I could talk to them about that. Okay, so could I expect it uh, being put in action within a week? I think we can be um, we we can work on it really hard by the time we move to the new island. How about oh. does that sound good? Okay. And I think yeah. you need a couple bandages because you're bleeding profusely. Nah, it's okay. Like like I said earlier to medics, I am covered in blood of my enemies. Oh. <laughs> okay guys so is that it i think so i think our masked man has run out early that's fine i hope that's fine uh, i see he's he i see him he's right over there oh therapy session all right uh is the officers here <laughs> um officers were ready to uh End this debate now if you want to start your procedure of evacuating the building. Um, I just want to uh, get this off my chest. I think uh, Mr. Dead Fusion has to go home, study a little bit, and I think he needs to come at me a lot harder to uh, win over my status. Okay, so the final point is, guys, um, this is how help you decide who you're going to be voting for in the election. So... Just take it as what you've heard and uh, uh, process what you've learned and, and uh, make your decision when it's time to. Going against him. All right, so uh, excuse me. So we're gonna we're... have the senator leave first with his people, and then after that, we're gonna have the king. My leave. people, I have no people here. My bodyguards yeah. didn't come today. Senator, would you like right. to escort out from our party, or are you good? What's that? We'll have a we'll have you an like officer an escort, out? escort him out. No, because one of your party members has a mask and don't want to reveal his name. So, um, completely that, understandable. That's understandable, as he will be um, me, Wicked. quickly Wicked, uh, you committed to Sorry. a therapy session. Thank you. All right, uh, Senator, uh, we'll, we'll have, have an Senator officer take out you outside. Door. Awesome. If you want to leave outside the back door, we'll have a uh, officer escort you. And then, if you want to well, wait here for a moment, we'll have you time. outside as soon as he takes off. Yeah. All civilians, please stay seated until both of the candidate and the senator are outside of the building and driven off, please. I rock that fucking well, debate. Hunter's on the way out. I hope you enjoyed this debate, guys. Right. Thank you for coming. Get ready to move. Uh, with the yeah, please. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta figure out where the back door's at. Uh, back door's right here in my pants, babe. <laughs> I don't know where the back door is. The back door here. Are, open. are you alright, Wicked? All the time. I have yeah, I'm I'm a little exhausted. How do you open the back gate? <laughs> yeah, that, that's. I have no idea. Thank you. Is there a leak on the roof? The garage. Oh, yeah, yeah, there must be. Oh, shit. 
those drugs still hitting you hard? Okay, so that was the end of the debate for the campaign election for Senator. Uh, at the moment, as you can tell, they're just moving people out of the building. If you're a civilian, please take your seat. Mackie, please go back into the courtroom. Thank you. Negative. Sen Senator is gone from the area. taking a mental breakdown. Okay, so they've just got the senator out safely, and then they're going to uh, get the people out. This is very serious business here on this island. Start bringing them out. It's going to be very interesting to see how it all unfolds. Buildings now being evacuated of the uh, spectators who are here to view the debate. No more. No, I don't. <laughs> no more jokes, Maggie. Copy that. <laughs> Let's not get run over today. Bath, I guess we'll see you back at AP. Excuse me, were you one that flew the helicopter? Yeah. Do you mind uh, next time you fly the helicopter if you could just bring a car or something, please? Yeah, sure. It'd be the best if you could drive a car up here. You know what I was late. Alright, alright. Thank you. Guys? Thank you. Oh my god. We got a police chase going on here. Wasn't that the senator? I don't know. Like that was the senator's car. <laughs> oh my god. Phoenix of CLN. There's currently a car chase ongoing. Oh my god, he crashed! Holy crap. What's He's going on? The... Put your hands up! Pop out there's got one in custody. Put your hands up too. What work? Hey, I'm depressed. I'm just here. Get in the middle of a police chase ever again. Put your hands up. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Calm down. I wasn't involved in the chase. I was staying behind. You got in our way. I didn't get in anybody's way. Is this serious? Just stay there. I'm still rolling my camera. I got a GoPro on my head. That's fine. So, corn. I don't know. I haven't checked his ID yet. Yeah, registration come on the car comes back to corn. <laughs> Let's stand him up. Oh wow. Can't get him up. <laughs> you want me to take Wicked in too? He's just trying to get a ticket. Alright, what for? Road dog's not on. What, uh, what for? Uh, if I already yield to uh, emergency vehicles. How much is that? A hundred? Uh, no, it's more like a thousand. Oh, okay. You, you, weren't, your ID, you weren't even trying to pull me over. Uh, you were... I was well. While we are in the middle of a police chase, I think I'm... he was trying to get some good footage of the uh, of of me running from the police. Can I get your ID, please? This this is totally unfair. I was already at the airfield when you guys turned up. You can't be treating me as suspect right now. You got in our way, flat out. I was well away from you guys. Oh my god! Striker, what's your location? I've lost all my tires. Hey, if you unhandcuff me, I'll stand up and let you re-handcuff me. Alright, so we're going to give you a ticket for major violation for not yielding whenever there is a police chase or during emergency vehicles. 
when I, that is a thousand dollar ticket. I waited for you guys um, to go past me and I followed behind. So how does that yeah, mean I was not yielding? No. <laughs> you were driving around in circles while we were in the middle of a police chase. I, I wasn't. Whenever I was trying to block him off. I was recorded, already on the airfield when you guys turned up. You drove around me. I have no idea what's going on. I've got recorded evidence. Do you want me to? Uh, oh. Can you get me up? Hold on. I'm gonna take you to your car, see if you can uh, get in and get out. You All want right. me to unhandcuff him? We just did. No, him. Wicked. Just pull your gun out and unhandcuff him. Yeah, do you want me to? So I'm asking. Yeah. This is unfair treatment of the press. Hey, unhandcuff me and I'll try to get in and out. Oh, don't put me in. Or yeah, pull me back out. There we go. I'll meet you back at PD. Alright. Best of luck to you, Senator. Thank you. I just got overly excited in how I fucking rocked that debate. <laughs> I'm not really sure this is going to give you a good outlook, though. <laughs> oh, well. It's worth it. I just got overly excited. You know, Blythe gave me some medication long ago, so this shit wouldn't happen. Evidently, I ran out of the medication. You know, fuck it. Striker. Uh, it's worth a little time. Yeah, nearly got me arrested too. <laughs> uh, I need you to get a hold, like call three one one, see if you can find somebody with a tow truck or tow the car back to PD, please. Hi. Bye. I love you. Officer, you're just trying to stop something. So the senator just got arrested after he got overexcited after feeling like he was very successful in that debate. Not really sure this is going to go out well for him when it hits uh, the uh, news. But, uh, you know, th this is just things that happen here in uh, City Life. I'm Wicked Phoenix from CLN. Signing off.